Among the training's main aims was to improve the working relationship between media and law enforcement agencies and reinform citizen trust in the police force. Media practitioners joined on the last two days of the broader five-day training workshop for police officers from all 14 regions of the country. During the closing day, mock exercises, role-playing pretend protest situations form part of the training meant to prepare journalists, police liaisons officer and the riot squad on how to handle future protest situations. At the closing ceremony, Inspector General of the Namibian Police, Lieutenant General Joseph Shikongo, in a speech read on his behalf by his deputy, has some guiding words for the participants. I should encourage you to go out there and put into practice what you have learned to the best of your ability. Your newly gained knowledge should not end with you, but should ensure that it's shared with the colleagues and subordinate for the benefit of the entire Namibian police force. He also shared a word of advice with media practitioners, saying that freedom of expression should be accompanied by responsible reporting. Police expert for UNESCO, Philippe Perez, had this to say. We have to go from the words to the acts and to the facts. Uh, it starts very simply by meeting, you know, very, uh, as I said, we are cousins in the same family. And sometimes the cousins, they have some arguments. You don't know why. You don't remember why. So if the police think that the journalists are some, 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 some uh, dangerous people and the journalists say that the police are bad people, okay, now it's over. This is over. Elizabeth Mole, coordinator of the Editors Forum of Namibia, made a plea to media organizations. But we are going to urge every media house to provide um, the media jackets in the colors of their choice, but we will have them designed, you know, specifically only for media. NBC News gauged some views from the participants. My takeaway from this uh, training is that it's very imperative for us as members of the Namibian Police Force to work hand in hand and side by side with the journalists. Because at the end of the day we have a similar mission. The mission is a free flow of information and the safety of our journalists in Namibia. We get info, uh, information from them, they take the information out and we are arresting people just because of the information that has come out from them. So I would really like the journalists and the police to have a very strong and a smooth working environment whereby we will work together in uh, achieving our goals which is apprehension of the suspects and to have a crime free Namibia. So it is very important for the media pro professionals and uh, the police officers to work together so that we can really create a conducive environment where the police are able to do their work diligently as well as for journalists to still get what they want out of it. Lachia Tutale, NBC News, Ventuk.